Wi-Fi 7 is finally here, and it is a multi-generational leap over Wi-Fi 6. This is a fast, very efficient, very robust technology, and now TP-Link's offering is the Deco BE85. It's a multi-gig Wi-Fi mesh system. It's got some serious power to it. Let's get into it. First off, I absolutely love the presentation. Yeah, they get top score for this. These are the Deco devices, and I absolutely love these. I use a previous generation, a Wi-Fi 6E version, and they're attractive. Like you can just neatly put them around the house and they're, they're not eyesores, which is what you want for your Wi-Fi mesh system. So we have our three Deco devices here. We're gonna neatly spread them around the house. And we have uh, this compartment here. It's all the, the power cord and accessories for them as well. This is a 10 gigabit back end system. So you're gonna want the right type of cable, depending on the length of your house and where these are gonna be, to get the maximum low latency. This is basically four times or four X the lower latency compared to Wi-Fi 6E. Yeah, if you're a gamer, you're gonna love these. One thing about Wi-Fi 7 and these devices that excites me is the MLO feature, multi-link operations. What that means is these Deco devices can transmit simultaneously over six gigahertz and five gigahertz to Wi-Fi 7 enabled devices. So basically it's hitting this device with two bands and uh, yeah, that's giving you 4.2 times the speeds compared to Wi-Fi 6 and 6E devices. The Deco B85 has plenty of connectivity. So we have two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports for RJ45 jacks. Then we have another 10 gigabit ethernet port, RJ45. But then these two right here, this is a combo. This is RJ45 and SFP Plus. So this is really nice because I actually use the SFP Plus, which is 10 gig for my NAS. So I have my whole house wired to, yeah, 10 gig NAS, which is nice. When you have a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device like this OnePlus 11 5G phone, you'll notice that this actually has a number seven next to the Wi-Fi symbol right here. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 has the Wi-Fi 6E symbol. The Deco software by TP-Link is actually really intuitive. So I already set up these devices. So we have one in the office next to my main PC that's plugged into the cable modem. And then this is also plugged into my 10 gigabit ethernet switch. Then I have one in the living room and one in the bedroom as well. It even shows you all the clients that are connected to it, like the OnePlus 11 5G phone right there, as well as my 65 inch TCL Roku TV and all these other devices too. It does have parental controls. Having its own IoT network is really nice. So let's say that you have your vacuum cleaners, your refrigerators, different things that are not like PCs and tablets, cell phones. This is gonna be separate from your network to really enhance your overall security. On the OnePlus 11 5G, this is a Wi-Fi 7 enabled client. So it has six gigahertz for the Wi-Fi band, 2.4 and five gigahertz, but then this MLO, which is actually the 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz and six gigahertz. So it's gonna be able to connect to this phone using two bands simultaneously. That's gonna give you the best balance of range and speed. You can see I'm outside by the pool and the Wi-Fi 7 speeds on the OnePlus 11 5G are 340 megs per second downloads, almost 40 uploads, while the Z Fold 4 on Wi-Fi 6E barely even hit 100 megs per second and only 25 up. So there is a big difference in performance between Wi-Fi 7 and Wi-Fi 6E at range. In this test, I have the Deco BE85 connected to my 10 gigabit switch as well as my 10 gigabit NAS. And you'll notice the speeds that I'm getting are fantastic. My download speeds are exactly what they should be, nearly 10 gigabits per second. And then you'll notice that the upload speeds are gonna be exactly the same. So I'm getting the full bandwidth because of the capabilities of having two 10 gigabit ethernet ports on this Deco BE85. Plus it has the two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports as well. So there's a number of things that you may or may not be aware of when it comes to Wi-Fi 7. It does access a new band. So it's a 320 megahertz band. And therefore, if you're using this device or Wi-Fi 7 device, you're gonna have very little interference because almost nobody has Wi-Fi 7 devices right now. So it's like your own private bandwidth in the internet, which is quite nice. Then you wanna make sure that all three of these, uh, or there's a model with two of them, are connected by ethernet. It's not necessary, but it does make a difference because these have 10 gigabit ethernet ports in the back. So you wanna take advantage of that huge amount of bandwidth. And if you don't use that, it's perfectly fine. They're gonna connect using you know, Wi-Fi between each other. There is a difference though. 
you want to make sure if you're one spending the money on these that you're maximizing the speed so all you have to do is just get cat 6 cable as long as you need um, you can route it underneath the floors ceiling drill in the walls whatever you need to to make it nice and tidy cable management i'm a big fan of that and um, yeah just have them sit somewhere nice and they just blend in because of their aesthetics i think they're aesthetically pleasing additionally they're quiet these do have quad core processors and to cool that they do have two internal fans i've been pushing these and i can tell they're a little warm not hot but yeah the fans are, are very very quiet so right now this is plugged in to you know via 10 gigabit ethernet i've been running speed tests basically hitting 10 gigabit speeds which is ridiculous going to and from my nas and because uh, my nas does have a 10 gigabit connection i am very very impressed Plus, the range has been highly impressive, being by the swimming pool, getting over three times the speeds on the OnePlus 11 5G, which is Wi-Fi 7, compared to my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, which is one of my favorite and very new phones. Uh, it is only on Wi-Fi 6E only. I mean, yeah, Wi-Fi 6E is new, but Wi-Fi 7, this is the new hotness. Basically... <laughs> Whatever new phone comes out, if it doesn't have Wi-Fi 7, that, that's going to be a hard sell. Wi-Fi 7 just made such a difference for me being at the pool on my own internet uh, at very high speeds. That, that makes such a huge difference. Just a good quality of life right there. So when it comes to Wi-Fi reviews that I do, I try not to make them like too complicated because you can definitely go down a rabbit hole with Wi-Fi, especially with this having like 4K QAM and just all kinds of terms that most people don't care. They just want to know that if they plug this in, are they going to have very good, reliable Wi-Fi? And the answer is yes. You're going to get very low interference, very low latency. So gamers yeah, Wi-Fi 7's where you want to be. You don't have to re rely on like Ethernet cables anymore. It's a very, very nice piece of technology that has come out. So shout out to TP-Link for sending out the BE85, the, the Tri Wi-Fi mesh system. They also have the dual system as well. And another Wi-Fi router that's Wi-Fi 7, the BE800. So these are available at uh, Amazon and Best Buy. So go ahead and check my links, you know, for all that information. And uh, yeah. I give it seven fingers up, Wi-Fi 7. <laughs>